President spoke about the differences since Trump took office. The CNN reporters wanting to discredit the president went to the border but what happened there was out of their imagination. Pamela Taylor is a citizen who lives near Brownsville, Texas on the U.S.-Mexico border. She has stated that she can see illegal aliens jumping over the fence. Now she appeared on CNN to talk about the changes that happened since President Trump took office. Not long ago she stated that building the wall is not a good idea and that it wouldn't change anything. Don Lemon knowing that invited Taylor on his show with the idea that she will be her on his side. Anyhow she shocked him by doing the opposite. Don started the show by trying to impose the left opinion on her, that's been the conventional wisdom from a lot of people that if you have a 20-foot wall that there's a 21-foot ladder that can help them get over it. But your house is right there on the border. You can actually watch undocumented immigrants cross into the country from your home, said Don Lemon. According to just released customs and border protection numbers, illegal southwest border crossings were down by 40% last month. Have you noticed a difference? This was when the woman faced him with a truth that was unexpected for CNN. I believe President Trump is making a difference already, Taylor stated. Basically, it was a constant flow of people coming over. Not ones and twos, but by twenties and thirties. Now, we actually get a good night's sleep every once in a while. We don't have any interference. Of course, I can't speak for the Border Patrol. They probably are picking people up, but in such large quantities, she continued. Thank God Trump just made a miracle happen for soldiers. This is huge. If you were lucky enough to be a cadet at the Coast Guard graduation ceremony today, then you already know the incredible thing Donald Trump did for every single cadet in the crowd. In the middle of his commencement speech, Trump started picking on the cadet in charge of parking enforcement, Brian Kim. It was all funny and lighthearted at first, then the president dropped this bombshell on them, Donald Trump pardoned all of the minor offenses or infractions the cadets committed this year. Wow! Looks like the entire last year of CDT Kim's ticket-giving life were all for naught. However, you can bet that these future troops were pretty happy to get their gift. No lives were saved today, but still President Trump has shown time and again how much he loves and trusts our military. The presidential pardon is a special power reserved for the U.S. president and that is why he chose to use it. The first piece of the border wall is in place. But it gets even better. Donald Trump promised us a border wall, and we need that wall to protect our nation from illegal immigration. The illegal immigration crisis is off the rails. Luckily, President Trump is holding up to his end of the bargain. There is a small subsection of the wall already built. They have recently announced plans to start expanding our wall. Finally. Via Daily Mail, we only say finally because if it were up to Obama, he would have never even considered building a wall to keep our country from taking in illegal aliens, drug cartels, human trafficking bans, and who knows what else. Currently, the, roughly, quarter of a mile of the border wall is planned to go up near San Diego. It will sit within 120 feet of the border between Mexico and the U.S. This is an attempt to figure out what type of wall would work best at keeping illegals out of our country. Other prototypes will be built along the way until we find something that works. We have had faith in President Trump since he announced his wall, now, it is happening. The only issue we're anticipating is the flood of tears the liberals are going to subject us to along the way. They love to get upset over nothing, mainly because it is the cool thing to do. If crying like a baby is cool, then I will be lame for the of my life. Accusations are going to start flaring up again. They are going to accuse Trump of being a racist, again. They will be promptly dealt with, regardless of how upset they are about the situation. This is Trump's America now, which means it's our America. It's funny, when you talk to a liberal, you discover that they are clueless. They don't know what is going on. If you ask them about Trump they will be more than happy to tell you the bad stuff, which of course is anything that doesn't outright cater to their need for safe spaces. The point is this, 
They can't say anything good about the president because it doesn't fit their narrative. The biased mainstream media ignored Trump's strengths, and reported nothing but nonsense and lies. The president could run into a burning building, save 100 kids, and the headlines would read, Trump throws children into burning building. Silly liberals. They need to grow out of this phase. We're so excited to see what might come next with the border wall. It's been a long time coming. Other presidents were afraid of acting because they thought they might get attacked by Wall Street investors or the American public. Trump is the only one who could get the wall built while plowing through the opposition. We are so thankful to have him as our president. We would love to see most of the wall built by the end of 2020, providing liberals don't try to block him every step of the way. This is an exciting time to be a patriot. The country is finally making its way back into the hands of the people. Sean Hannity Express His Feeling Through Twitter Sean Hannity is amazing, respectful and honorable man, and most of all he is the best one when it comes to the media. He is so good that even the liberals are scared of him and constantly trying to take him down and as we know the liberal believe in everything they hear so that why the liberal media is making up false stories. Their attempts to bring him down are wrong on so many levels. Hannity has earned respects from the people all by himself, making him a part of the elite media. When Hannity joined this business he worked very hard to become the man he is now, he worked day after day to improve himself. That is one of the reasons why people have this much of respect for him. Apart from all of this there was one person that helped him a lot, which Hannity respects a lot and it's grateful for his contribution. That person is Roger Isles the ex-CEO of Fox News who passed away at age of 77. Few hours ago Sean Hannity wrote on his Twitter account to express how he feels and how he is handling his good old friend's death. In few of the tweets he even sent a strong warning towards the liberal media. Seeing the way he expressed his feeling through the social media, we can say that Hannity is hurting very bad and that he is handling the new pretty hard. We are very sorry to hear this news as well. We only hope the mainstream media will treat this news with respect and classiness as Roger Riles deserves, even though it's doubtful to expect this from such ignorant SHE's A Hero Finds Teen Just Saved Trump from Impeachment with One Sentence That Explains Everything On Thursday's broadcast of CNN's Situation Room, Senator Dianne Feinstein, D. California, stated that she has not seen any evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians, and that special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation is the one that would bring forward solid evidence on which you could base a criminal case and indict someone. Anchor Wolf Blitzer asked, The last time we spoke, Senator, I asked you if you had actually seen evidence of collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians, and you said to me, and I'm quoting you know, you said, not at this time. Has anything changed since we spoke last? Feinstein answered, Well, not, no, it hasn't. So, I would depend on this investigation that we're talking about that would bring forward any criminal activity, and, of course, has the right and the ability to charge people, select targets, look at them, bring about an indictment. And so, it's a very big investigation, and I think somebody that's as sophisticated as Bob Mueller is really the one to carry it out and see that it does not go awry, it does not overreach, but it's what it should be. Blitzer followed up, eh so far, you have not seen any evidence of collusion, is that right? Feinstein responded, well, evidence that would establish that there's collusion. There are all kinds of rumors around. There are newspaper stories, but that's not necessarily evidence. And so, you've got the Intelligence Committee looking at it, and you will have the Mueller investigation going on, and it's the Mueller investigation that would bring forward solid evidence on which you could base a criminal case and indict someone. Smackdown journalists won't sleep tonight after what Trump sent to special counsel Mueller. Here is what Trump said. As I have stated many times, a thorough investigation will confirm what we already know, there was no collusion between my campaign and any foreign entity, 
Trump said in a statement released several hours after the news broke Wednesday night. Trump has called their bluff. The Justice Department has now announced that Mueller would be the special counsel and would carry out the probe to find out about if Russia had hacked the election. Democrats have been pushing for an investigation that would be free from Donald Trump interference. Here is how Trump responded to it. I look forward to this matter concluding quickly, he said. In the meantime, I will never stop fighting for the people and the issues that matter most to the future of our country. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein announced the move on Wednesday and he recommended President George W. Bush appoint Tim Mueller. Mueller has led the FBI and was reappointed by Obama. He has a great reputation with both parties. Someone surprising just came out as a Trump supporter, media ignores. The mainstream media has spent the last few months gleefully reporting on every piece of negative Donald Trump news that they can while ignoring anything positive about him. Over the past week, they have been sensationalizing Trump's alleged scandals such as his firing of FBI Director James Comey, his alleged leak of classified information to Russian officials and reports that he urged Comey to drop an investigation into a top aide. Meanwhile, they have ignored the fact that someone very surprising just came out as a Trump supporter. Conservative fighters reported that former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice often spoke out against Trump while he was running for president. That's why it came as a shock this week when she confirmed that she now stands behind Trump because of the actions he has taken in the first months of his presidency. I think, for instance, to say to the Chinese, if you don't deal with the North Koreans, we will. There's nothing wrong with that message, Rice told Global Politico. I think to say to the Syrians, we are not going to sit by and let you gas Syrian babies. I think there's nothing wrong with that message. I think to say to Vladimir Putin, yes, I want to meet with you but at an appropriate time. I see nothing wrong with that message. Yes. One of our nation's top foreign policy experts approves of the messages Trump has sent to North Korea, Syria, and Russia. In her interview, Rice also said she thinks Trump's Moab response to the Syrian gas attack was also reasonable and that she looks forward to seeing his support of Israel.